Hey, y'all. So let's have a conversation. I done went to the crab place today and got me some. Ray, go sit down. This ain't for you. I done went to the crab place, y'all, and got me some blue crab. Bam. Y'all, I bought this from the crab, crab place. But I bought me some blue crab. And y'all know when you cook them, they turn red. It's this little place in Fort Myers. Because I don't always be wanting all that garlic stuff. And I hope they good. I hope they ain't overcooked. Last time I got them from there, they wasn't overcooked. They was real good. So, anyway, let's have a conversation. Let's talk about some stuff. Let's talk about some stuff. We ain't going to talk about early voting because I know y'all already did that. So, that's the senseless conversation. I ain't going to talk about that. Let me find a knife or something to cut this. Oh, y'all ain't seen no crab like this in a long time. I know they always want them. What the hell he done did? Let me just tear this thing. Y'all always want them old sloppy crabs with all that juice that come all off of them. I don't want them. Sometimes you just, I'm trying to eat the crab all neat. Sometimes you just got to have a old regular crab like that. And I like male crab. Because they say the male crab got more meat in them. Y'all see you, girl? He just sat up there and shook all this old bay on there like that. Why he did that? Why he did that? So anyway, let's have a conversation. We can talk about the... We can talk about a lot of stuff, but we're going to start... I can't believe he didn't put all that old bay on. Let me get some paper time. Now, why you put all that old bay on my stuff like that? Just shook all that old bay on there like somebody didn't want to suck all that damn old bay. But we can start off talking about Tyler Perry movie. Lord, thank you for this fruit that I, food I receive. That'll be nourishment to my body. Bless the hands that prepared it. And the body that take it in. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Anyway, I don't know why he didn't put all this. I can't be eating all that. I got a trash can down here. Now, he put all that old bay. Now, that might make me mad. Even though I like it. That might make me a little bit mad. So, I don't know how many of y'all know how to eat crab back when I was younger. My sister, them, used to sit with me to eat crab. And they never told me how to eat it. So they would sit with me to eat the crab, knowing that I wasn't going to eat it right. So whatever I left in the crab, they eat it. But I learned later how to eat it. So they gave me the option over at this place to to clean my crab for me. I refused. Maybe I should have put a trash can on that side. Right handed. So they gave me the option to clean my crab, but it's something about crab that sometimes they better when you clean them yourself. And I do like them other crab and all that. But look, y'all, see that? Y'all got to pull all that stuff out. Y'all, Ray just watch me like he about to get some and not. And so you pull them fingers out. Those called the dead man fingers. So you pull out the dead man fingers. And then they say you pull out the that little piece right there. That right there. They say that's the poop. Y'all see that? They say that's the poop. But I don't pull it all out because I kind of like that little taste. And I don't think it's a poop for real. But if it is, guess who be eating poop? I call it mustard. It's mustard. But anyway, let's talk about this Tyler Perry movie. So I started watching the movie. I need to learn not to keep playing with y'all on the internet. Every time I see something on the internet, somebody telling you to watch something, I go watch it. I don't care what it is. If y'all say Netflix got a movie out, I be watching. Because I trust y'all like that, and I don't know why. But I started watching the... um. Oh, it's good. I started watching, I think it's called Black Black and 
black beauty or black in the beauty or beauty in the black or something. It's about some strippers and some, it's a whole bunch of stuff. But it seems like lately everything Tyler Perry wants you to see be men on men sex. Now don't get me wrong, I don't care what y'all do with y'all body, I don't care what y'all do with y'all life. But for some reason, just feel like he just trying to plant that. Like, everything he do, it was some times when people had sex in there that, I don't think I'm supposed to say that word, Um, that didn't, that you didn't see what they were doing. But it's like every gay scene, every gay scene, he showed what they were doing. Like, in some kind of way, he wanted to plant that image in your head that some men was getting it on and i didn't like that i ain't like that so i don't i now i stopped watching empire because empire started getting a little too frisky too like every time you turn around they were doing something the other show was doing that too the ghost that started doing it or power or whatever it was so every time they started getting Y'all, this crab so good. A little bit too deep in that. I don't, I don't like it. It's okay to do whatever you want to do. But it's like he's trying to push that down people's throat. Tyler Perry, if you just want to come out, come out, baby. Come out. We don't care. We're going to watch your movies. You don't, you don't have to do all that. Unless... You just want to cater to that crowd of people. Mm hmm. Now, that might be what you're doing. Maybe you don't want us to watch a movie. But it's almost like you just want to push that down people's throat. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. And they don't really make crab. You can't, it's very rare. Mm. That you find crab like this anymore. You know what I mean? And the crab that cook just regular old, old baby. Mm -hmm. It's good though. And then I get these right here. When you bite these, and if you bite it right in the middle, like that, all the meat come out. I usually save them for last. It'd be so good. Y'all already just watching me. But no. Tell me if y'all like the Tyler Perry movie. So it ended kind of crazy. And when I say kind of crazy, because you know it's going to be another half. But they were taking these young girls and they was basically making them work out work into a strip club like if they got in trouble they would go get them from a judge and make it like they had got i don't know if y'all seen it or not but they would go get them from this judge and make them feel like they owed the people something because they got them out of trouble but that was just a setup to get them to work in them strip clubs and do all that kind of work so they was actually start pimping them girls out and stuff and using them girls as sex plays. So that's kind of what the movie is about. I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I ain't saying this happened. I ain't saying this happened at all. But I wouldn't be surprised if Tyler got something to do with that P. Diddy stuff. Because the way he always trying to push stuff down your, your, your throat. It ain't normal. It ain't normal because if it's any more scenes in the movie, like sex scenes, why you ain't showing us them? Why you only showing us the men? And well, then you want us to sit up with our dudes. Well, them women, I don't got no dude. 
I don't know. I got somebody I like, though. Kind of cool. But y'all want us to sit up with these men and try to have some Netflix and chill time. And every time you turn around, it's somebody having some kind of man-on-man -man sex. Now, that's crazy. Like, I really think y'all just don't want us to watch it. You, you, Tyler Perry, you don't want us to watch it no more. I'm good. I stopped watching it. I think I got up to like the third season or like the third episode because it's the first season of it. But I think I got up to like the third episode and it, it, no, I'm lying. At first I got up to the third episode. Okay. And then I stopped watching it because there was too much going on. And then I seen somewhere on the internet where they said that they don't do it on every episode. So I ended up watching the rest. I kept falling asleep and waking up on it. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I got to see what the next one brings because it ended kind of weird. The drug family. The drug family um, run everything. Like, it's just a whole, you know it's made up. Well, I don't know. He might have got it from somewhere. It might be something real. But I think it's made up. It's real life drug families out here too. Y'all know that? There's some real life drug families out here. When I was growing up, my uncle was a um, was one of Fort Myers. Fort Myers two three nine no. One of Fort Myers um, biggest drug dealers. So we used to be in that kind of life. I think that's right why I'm so ghetto. Because that's the kind of life we were around for a long time. But um we seen so many things. I'm gonna tell y'all now if y'all parents out there and y'all doing drugs or drinking or anything that alters your mind stop. If you got kids, if you got young kids, cause that that stuff, I don't, you know, y'all might not think that them kids hear y'all, see y'all, or know what's going on, but them kids know what y'all doing. They know what's going on. Like they're not crazy, and it sticks with them for a long time. And then a lot of them ways, you know, them spirits and them people that y'all bring into their house, they end up either mimicking them or. It becomes something, you know what I mean? Like so, I I don't know. Y'all y'all don't bring them around y'all kids, but yeah, if you if you a junkie, basically a junkie, don't bring that around us. So we was raised up around an uncle who he didn't do drugs. Now the funny thing, my uncle sold drugs, but he didn't do drugs. So he had people around him that did drugs. Like my mom, my stepdad, you know, other people around them. So we got we got um to a point in life where we kinda had to raise ourselves. But at one point my mom and dad used to put us on a plane because my uncle was on the run. There's a whole story to that, but he was on the run. So they used to put us on a plane to um, take <coughs> Hush, boy. <coughs> Scared me. Y'all seen that? <coughs> to take drugs across the world. I think the first time I was on a plane, I was probably about 14 years old, and I had a backpack full of dope, and all I did was got on that plane and flew from Florida to Michigan, and if y'all know like I know, I don't know how many people that flew into Michigan, but some of them, like Muskegon particularly, got this airport where you have to take this little 
tiny plane over there and used to fly real close to the water. So I was real scared, but we flew over there by ourselves so many times. And that was the first time I took a plane on that plane going over there. I didn't even stay the night. I got there, dropped them people drugs off. It wasn't them people, it was my uncle. And was back on the plane before the next plane could leave out. And back then, you know, they didn't have all the security checks like they got now. I was back on the plane before I could leave back out. But we kept going all the time. That's all we did. We never seen them all. Because you had little boosters that would come and buy you everything. Yeah, well, steal everything and sell it to your mama then. So they used to buy our clothes off the street. But we had got to one point where they owned some apartments. Well, they ain't owned them. My uncle owned them. Owned some apartments in the neighborhood that we stayed in. And um, we lived over there by ourselves for a long time. Because our mama didn't think it was safe. Mm for us to live in the house. We seen raids with my mama knew. And daddy. They let people in the house and they were doing standoffs. I mean, one person had a sawed off. It was like a, a scene from a movie where everybody had guns pointed at people, each other. Like, if one person would have shot, everybody would have shot. But we was in the Florida room, Florida room. Um, Florida got these rooms like a den. We in the Florida room looking up under the door because a crack under the door about this big so we could see everybody in there. All right, we seen a whole lot of stuff. You would think we was in a... No, this crap. Good. Episode of... Like a, like a Donald Goins book. I don't know how many of y'all know Donald Goins, but Donald Goins used to always tell the dopest stories. And I do mean dopest. The dopest stories, but his, his stories were so real. But it's, it's like, that's probably why I liked him too. Because, y'all seen that? Ooh. Because he would tell so many stories that just was so close to real life. Like he, he was, I should write a book. Because all the stuff I done seen, I mean, all the stuff I've seen from the streets to the church, back to the streets, back to the church. I've seen so much. And I done did so much. I don't want to act like I'm good at two shoes over here, but I got to say, that's why I told y'all, if y'all parents are out there doing that foolishness on drugs and all that different kind of stuff, get off of that. Because your kids learn and they pick up. We didn't learn how to stop people from having overdoses. Mm -hmm. Y'all probably think I ain't getting nothing out of here. But I am. But that's why I don't do drugs. Because I done seen so much that I say, ain't no way in hell. That ain't nothing somebody could beat. I don't think nobody could beat drugs. That's something that's un undefeatable. That's like the internet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like the internet. If a person on drugs, and you know that sometimes they say you can get off drugs. You can't get off drugs. But I still be a little weary about people that used to do drugs and get off drugs. Like, all you know, all you need is one good upset. And you might be back. You know what I mean? And I, I can't trust it. Because I've seen too many things and too many drug situations. Oh my God, look at me. A lot of people don't like blue crab. Because it's too take too much work. And it do. But I like them. And next time I'm going to get some crawfish. Because he said the crawfish is so big. 
But by the time I seen that they had crawfish here, it was too late then. A pound of cooked crawfish, I think was like eleven dollars. But yeah, it was too late. By the time I seen they had already started cooking my crab. I got these crab. Look what else I got. Peach soda. I got some more um, sodas in there, but something about that. Now, actually, I'm going to drink this peach soda, but I be liking the Czech peach soda. There's something about that Czech peach soda that tastes better than everything. But for some reason, um, only people sell Czech that I know about is Publix. Not Publix, but Winn-Dixie. And every time I go to try to get me some pink um, sodas from Winn-Dixie, they be gone. Some peach. They be gone. Nobody got time for that. Y'all seen that statue of um, Dwayne Wade? <laughs> Man, I died laughing when I seen that statue. Ain't no dang on well. That statue don't look nothing like that man. And doing it so good, but I couldn't even give a speech. I wouldn't have said nothing after that. I'd have been so insulted. So yeah, I'd have been so insulted. I don't know what I'd have done. Looking at that old ugly stat, that don't look like nothing. And I still haven't seen a picture that he copied. Like, not one time have I seen a picture yet that he copied that from. And it don't look like him. You can't even trick me and make me believe. You can't turn the thing upside down and sideways. Make me think that that's him. That's a whole Timu bait and switch. Told us a picture of Dwayne Wade and then made whatever that Timu China thing was. That statue from China. I don't know if it is, but I feel like it is. Oh, this stuff so good. I'm gonna see how them people be having all that food dripping down their arms. I can't do that. I mean, that's just crazy. Maybe because mine ain't. Have a seat. Uh, with all that garlic on it like that. Mm. It's so good. Lord, my little thing gonna smell like crab. That's when we just drop that crab out of <laughs> That's gonna be nasty. I had to get comfortable for this. That's why I wouldn't put on this little whatever this thing is down. I think I bought this one when I was in Mexico. I bought a couple of them. Every time I go somewhere, I'll be seeing them with different bras on, a different panty style. They swimsuit, they ain't bras and panties. Y'all, it's so good. So you bought the shell, right? And you suck the meat from between the shell. I don't know, that's how y'all do it. 
But that's how I do it. My little baby dog gonna be thin right here. Ray keep looking at trash can. Like I'm gonna drop some in a in a So they cook these. For y'all who ain't never seen them done. They cook these up north. And um I'm lying. I thought any guy so good on time they cook these up north. No, they didn't. They cook these right there in four miles, but I was saying. For, your, for those of y'all who live up north, who don't have access to the crab like you, these things be blue, moving around in a little freezer. Like, it, it don't be froze, but they put them on ice to slow them down. Y'all see that? Every time I do that, I keep saying, y'all see that. I know y'all don't care. But they put them on ice to slow them down. That's what they call a blue crab. Because they be blue. And they go to dead man fingers and take the dead man fingers off. And like I said, I get the male because they say the male got the most in them. But they call them blue crab because they be blue. And then when you cook them. They turn red. I myself don't know how to cook them. I wish I did. But no, I don't know. I don't know how to cook them. I just eat them and I just go to the place where people be cooking them at. And I'm glad now because I live by myself. I used to hate buying crab when my kids was home. Because you had to share with them. Then you got to pick it off the shelf for them and if you pick it all off the shell and lay it down, it don't really be that much. So when you do all that work for your kids, it don't be nice. It be like, uh, yeah, it don't be. So I don't be want to do that. So I was so glad when they moved out. Sorry. It wasn't coming out in my Yeah, this is just an old fashioned style. Y'all used to them ones that be having all that garlic and butter on them. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Sometimes you just want the normal stuff. Well, these last couple of years, everybody just go all they, they everybody just too too much, do too much. They ain't had no regular crab no more. So I went in there today, tell what you going on? Nothing, just old bait. Just old bait. He's so good. Let me tell you about this place. So it's this place in Fort Myers, off MLK. Nobody don't know what it was. It just sit there, and it says a seafood spot, but ain't nobody never know. I thought it was a, a um, cover up for like drug selling or something. My uncle used to own it back in the days before he got picked up. I'm going to tell you how he got picked up too. But my uncle used to own it back in the days. 
So I always thought it was just a drug hole. Like, yeah, I ain't know it was a real business. So one day I went to the little Jamaican restaurant next door to it. And I was telling this guy I was with, he was from out of town. And I said, don't nobody know what that place is. We always ask about it on the internet, so everybody wonder how they stay open. So he was like, well, let's go in. Cool. We went in. Seen all kind of seafood. I mean, all kind of seafood. But I had already got my food by the end from the place next door. The place next door is a little Jamaican spot called Spice. I always eat there. But I had already got my food, so I ain't order none. But I said I'll be back for some. And they take food stamps now. I don't know who need to hear that. They're going to say, is this EBT or credit? It's the credit. But, um, yeah, they take food stamps now, so they should be picking up a business. I don't know if you pay for the, the, I don't know how you do it, but they take food stamps. I know that, but. I seen this thing on, well, hold on. I seen this thing on the internet the other day. This girl came in this man inbox and said she wanted to sell her food stamp. So he was like, okay, cool. Ray, go sit down. So he was like, okay, cool. She's selling them dollar for dollar. Like, who? Who want to buy food stamps for you? Dollar to dollar. To dollar. So if you buy $50 worth of food stamps for her, you pay $50. So all you really save is $3 for the tax. That's all you really save. Because it's $6 on 100 And I said, well, she must be joking. She didn't want to sell you no food stamps. Not at all. Cause I don't, I don't know how they do it these days, and I ain't bought food stamps in a long time. But um, there's no way in hell. Mm mm. Mm mm. I'm gonna give you fifty dollars for fifty dollars of food stamp. Where they do that? This new age generation, y'all spoil you. Mm -hmm. Cause y'all don't want to work. Y'all don't want to hustle. Y'all want to pull hustle. If anybody in this world gave y'all. Oh, Lord, my little bag going to tear up. If anybody in this world gave y'all dollar for dollar food cents, y'all better keep them with y'all. Because ain't nobody else in the world going to do that. Mm -hmm. You know me. I'd probably be the one to snitch. Somebody tell me dollar for dollar. I seen a video the other day where I guess somebody bought some food stamps from a girl in a store. Mm. When this lady seen them buy the food stamps, she gonna run out. Talking about, did you just buy some food stamps? Well, they don't get away from me. People these days got a lot of nerve. I'm glad that kind of stuff don't happen to me, though. But I think I bug out. When somebody can't bother me, like a Karen, That ain't no business talking to me. I probably bug out. 
knowing somebody might be recording too. Well, I do a little extra because I know they record. my mouth. I'm sorry I had to spin the um, trash can. I had all them crab shells in my mouth. But yeah, if somebody came up to me talking crazy like them Karens be doing them people, I get in all kind of trouble because I would show the hell out. Like, don't talk to me. I had this man one day. I was in Kmart. Y'all know how long that's been. And my son kept crying. He was crying for no reason. Any little thing, he just hollering and hollering. So I told him to quit hollering. And I fussed at him. Like, quit that damn little hollering. And he hollered again. So I grabbed his arm and I pinched him up under his arm a little bit. This old clear man walked up to me and said, don't you hit him again. I walked to him. I said, what? Who is you talking to? I cussed that man out. But I didn't buy nothing out still. So I knew what was happening next. He was about to call HIS on me or something. I don't think it cracked my tooth. But yeah, he was going to call HIS on me or something, so... I got up out the store, but I cussed him out. He got a good old cussing that day. Throwback style. But that was when my kid was little. I stole out that same Kmart. <laughs> From Pat and Other Shoes. Me and my friend, girl. We was about to be Easter. Now, I just don't understand how Pat and Leather and... Patent leather and y'all know them Paul Bunyan shirts, them plaid shirts and flannel shirts. We stole the patent leather shoes and the flannel shirt. And we got caught. The lady told on that. I'd fought that lady too if I know she would tell her. They ain't right thing. And we went to jail right from Kmart. I don't think I ever stole no more. Now, I was a kid then. I ain't had to steal no more. But that was... That was probably before we used to take them plane trips. But every time we take them plane trips, my uncle would give us some money. But when we got to the house, our parents would take the money. We took them trips for nothing. I got to play one time. <laughs> I think it was my nephew was getting Christian. And um, I got off the plane, took a cab, not an Uber, took a cab from the airport to the church left my bags in the corridor I ain't have many because we were flying up there one day and come right back and every time we used to make that drop my uncle would send us home with some money to get to somebody Either my parents, my grandmother, somebody would get some money every time we came back. So I done pulled up to the church for the christening. And um, lo and behold, <laughs> my grandmother's going to reach over there and whisper to me, did he give you the money? We in church. She asked me for the <laughs> for the dope man in the church I said yeah so we had to go back to the back and I gave her the money I went on back out there and sat down 
It was so funny because around that time, that song Barney was out. And my nephew started singing Barney. I love you, you love me, all that. I think that was the song Barney sang. But he sang it. Right there in the church. Mm -mm. Don't have none of that drug stuff on your kids. If I could tell y'all right now. Don't pull that stuff around y'all kids. That don't make for no good kids. And then when you get older and you're off drugs or you whatever, you wonder why your kids act like they act. I don't know why my kids act like they act. I know one time, I wasn't no big drinker. One time I took my kids over to this girl house and my kids, they never want to go to that house because they said she had roaches. So I said, now y'all can either stay here all night or I'll come back and get y'all after the club. They said, mama, come get us. They said you, they used to sleep with their hands over their ears so the roaches couldn't cry in their ear. Excuse me, I went back. I'm get them kids after the club. Yeah, I was so roasted. Toasted, roasted, same thing. That night, I ran into some bushes with my car. Luckily, the kids had them falling asleep in the back, so they didn't see me hit the bushes. All they felt was a, like the movement like that. And my dumb behind, I started laughing. I told y'all to stay over there. <laughs> I was dead drunk. But that right there made me never go get my kids again after like a night out. I, they just had to stay with the roaches. Luckily, they had got big enough, uh, you know, by the time to wash themselves when I went out. I ain't go out that much now. Uh, no, I ain't go out that much, but when I did, I did. Mm -mm. Y'all, I'm on something now. When I tell y'all, I got a raspberry walnut salad that I'm going to eat after this. I ain't going to let y'all see me eat that, but I'm going to eat my raspberry walnut salad. That I got from Trader Joe's. It's like a $4 salad, but it's really, really good. Then they give you this wooden fork. They give you this wooden fork at Trader Joe's. So it'd be hard to eat salad. So I just start bringing them home or either putting the fork in my car when I know I'm going that way. Yeah, it's so good. I'm trying to get that last little piece out there. Y'all see that? And I lost my nutcracker, so they don't sell nutcrackers in this place that I went. Um, twin, twin seafood. They don't sell nutcrackers. If y'all go in there, tell Patrick I sent you. But these things good. Mm -hmm. Now, when I be doing that right there and breaking them open. Sometimes you cut yourself. Now, you don't want to do what I'm doing. Y'all see that? Oh, that's like a little bone that be inside. Y'all only got two more left, dang. I almost want to stop eating them and say something for tomorrow. Good. Yeah, you don't have all that juice in them like y'all used to seeing. But I like them like this. This is how I be liking them. Now, don't get me wrong. I like them with the juice, too. 
But every now and then, you just want some traditional. Mm -hmm. Like people get wings now. Mm -hmm. I think people have some, mm, some sauce on every wing. Mm-mm. They want regular fry. They fry these crab too. Mm-hmm. At that same so you can get these crab. They bust them open and clean them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wait, wait. No. He waiting for me to drop something. You don't know, I ain't got no meat. At all. I'm about to go ahead and try to find me another movie to watch. My daughter was saying something. I forget the movie she told me to watch, but I'm about to go find me another movie because that's all I've been doing lately is being watching TV shows. I'm going to go see what's next for me to watch. I got the new um, internet system and they show been showing out on me. I told them people I work from home and I need a better internet and I got T-Mobile internet, y'all. That's probably what my problem is. But it be doing what it want to do sometimes. Them dead man fingers. Y'all see that? I put all them things off. Y'all put, well, I don't know why they call them dead man fingers. And I know that somebody ate them fingers before and they died. Mm-hmm. Y'all see that meat? Somebody ate them fingers before and they died. I'm teaching y'all something today. Probably not. Probably not. Mm -hmm. well, that was a lot of meat. It's almost over, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all know when it get good, you are shutting up and it's eating. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna break my teeth. That's why I get nut cracking. Y'all think I ain't see that, huh? I ain't about to lose no meat. I'm sitting up like that, yeah. My back's not hurting. I'm gonna drink me some of this soda. My siblings taught me how to eat. They say you don't drink nothing. Nothing. Until after you eat. Nothing. I'm about to drink something now because I'm a little thirsty. I'm a little parched. 
I only got one crab left, so. I could have swore last time he put some broccoli or something. They ain't even put no broccoli in. Mm -mm. I feel like these eyeglasses shield in my face. I want y'all to go watch um and Tyler Perry movie and tell me what y'all think. And I know them actors gotta be, okay? I don't know what they They acting like that. And they ain't gay. I can't act that part. It was hard for me to act that part. Now I might can. I got a sex scene or something with a man without him really doing nothing. It could get an illusion that we doing something, but I ain't about to be acting out no sex scene with no woman. Mm -mm. No, y'all do that by yourself. Tyler on some other stuff. Tyler Perry, let us know what you got going on. Let us know, Tyler. It's so in the world today, we don't care what you do. Hell, even if it wasn't in the world, we don't, we don't care. I went to a nursing home today. It was a man in there. hundred and five years old. And the lady said, yeah, he was here three years now. His husband died a couple years ago. I just looked, a hundred. Now, I'm lying. That man was a hundred years old. He went a hundred and five. There was a lady sitting next to him. That was 102. But the lady said, yeah, his his husband just died a couple years ago. I was like, wow. I see you, my boy. So good. So good. This is going to be my. That's going to be my. Let me see. 52. My cover photo for YouTube. I don't know how many of y'all need to know. But you can do YouTube um, podcast. Yep. I just don't know how to start or what to be talking about. Like if I get a podcast, like what am I talk about? Church hurt. Um. Raised up in the drug life. Um, stepping out on faith. I got a whole lot of things I could talk about. Lord, he been dealing with me for a while now. Even how I quit smoking cigarettes. I ain't know. Yeah, I used to smoke a pack of cigarettes a day. My lips just clearing up. I don't know if they just clearing up. But y'all know you got them smoking lips sometimes. Mm-mm-mm. Look at all that meat. I see that. Oh, damn it. Oh, it didn't drop. I thought it dropped. I was trying to show y'all. What's that? Mm hmm Y'all ain't know about that. And when I eat this crab, I mean, when I eat this salad, I don't know if y'all, when I eat shell, shell, um, seafood or either salmon like I could smell it in my body so I take these pills now 
We actually been helping probiotics for females, the female one. So when you eat stuff like this and they throw off your pH balance, you get it right back to you. Mm -hmm. Right back together. You won't even, you won't even know it. They threw it off. Yeah, some of y'all don't even know that seafood is what throws your pH balance off. I mean, not, not don't get me wrong, there's other things too. Your man cheating on you. <laughs> um, scented soap. Them silk and satin type panties. Colored panties. Like, it's so many things that throw off your pH balance. But seafood is one of them. Like I said, I tried them probiotics because it was like for some reason my body wasn't taking that beef too well. So I was told to get some probiotics and it helped me with the beef. But lo and behold, it helped me with the seafood too. So I was happy about that. Y'all better do y'all homework on that lady. But I ain't know it. So this lady told me one day, I was going to a restaurant. I asked her if she wanted to go. She told me she don't eat seafood. She don't eat some seafood once a month. And she only eats seafood around that time of the month. She take a the seafood will throw off her pH balance. I had never heard that. I was good and grown in too. And she said, yeah. Anything with a shell on it. Shrimp, clams, oysters, mussels would throw her pH balance off. And one day I tried it. I'm like, let me see. And I paid attention. And lo and behold, I threw out my pH balance. So y'all pay that some attention. Ooh, y'all, I'm finished. I had six prayer. And I got these legs over here. Six crabs probably won't even give you a pound of meat. Not even a pound of meat. But I'll never know. Unless I ask Alexa, because I ain't about to be sitting up. There's no crab. Let's see how much meat you get from it. Now that I'm at the end, I ain't bring no straw. Mm. Ooh, that was good. Excuse me. Ooh, that's good. I hear right on her snoring. It's gone when I uh
And every time I get real good, I gotta do that right there. Y'all see it? It's cold as hell in here. I was supposed to have a fork over here with me. You need things like this. Full now, y'all. I don't know if I'm full or I'm tired. You really don't get full of crab. It's like eating Chinese food. You really don't get full. You just... You know what I mean? You just get tired of eating it. Alright, y'all, I'm about to let y'all go because I think I ate. All I got is like three legs left. You know, I don't feel like eating them because this is what it takes to get in them legs. Look at them. I got in them legs. I'm done. That was good. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's so good. Boy, that tastes like water on a summer day. I'm tired. I don't even know why I crack this. Like, I ain't had nothing else to do. I'm freezing cold, too, y'all. It's so cold in this house. I got my air on like 69. When I came in, I was hot. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. That is so good. I'm done, y'all. I keep saying it, but it's so, so good. Ray, there's nothing down there. Now go sit down somewhere. Out. Go get in your bed. Go get in your bed. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for keeping me company. Sorry. I didn't want y'all to see nothing. So I had to shimmy, shimmy.
All right, y'all. I'm about to let y'all go. So I had to clean myself up a little bit. And I put this towel here because I thought I was going to lay it on my lap to catch anything that fell. I ain't going to allow too quick for that. Ain't nothing fall off me. Well, something fell, but not enough to be complaining about. Thank y'all. I'll see y'all later.